also in Field Analyzer, I can go back in and select a harvest map. You can see the day this was completed, total dry bushels for the field, average yield, average moisture, average ground speed, the area that was covered, total wet pounds, and average wet weight. I also have a yield legend, and then I can see the map itself. If I click on the edit icon, which would be the pencil, I can change the crop season, the crop, the varieties that were harvested, as well as I can post calibrate. Total dry yield would allow me to enter the total dry bushels, or I can enter the wet weight in pounds and then also update the moisture. Enter your updated information and click save if you wish to post calibrate. There's also a note at the bottom that this field's totals have already been post calibrated. If we would like to revert back to the original information that came off of the machine, I can click the revert to original documentation data. Once complete, either close or save. Within harvest maps, I can select dry yield, dry yield contour, which simply smooths out the blockiness of a normal yield map and contours the field. I can look at a moisture map, as well as harvesting speed. Some additional maps that I can view Include product application maps. If it was set up as a tank mix, you will see tank mix is the name. If it was a single product, you will see the name of the single product that was entered. If I choose tank mix, I can see the rate that was applied within the field, average rate, ground speed, area worked, total gallonage that was applied, my target rate, and my target total. I can also get a breakdown of the averages for each product within the tank mix. So this was a side dress application. My average rate for my 28% was 60 gallon the acre and the average amount for my Nutrisphere was 1.72 pounds per acre. I can also edit my product application information. I can simply change the crop season or change the product that was applied. You can only select tank mixes that are already set up within your operation center in product manager, or you can select a single product, which would also come from your list in product manager. Once complete, save or close. Within Field Analyzer, if I would like to look at two maps at the same time, I can select Compare. So maybe I would like to go back and look at my corn harvest map from 2018 compared to my planning map from 2018. We can select any two layers within the list. If you wish to go back to original map view, you can select overview. One thing that may be helpful is selecting the corn average and the soybean average to see what your average yield for that field is for each crop.
So I can say I have 192 average for corn and a 59 average for beans over my eight seasons of total collected data.